During an interview with the newsroom, Maria Fraser, a biologist attached at the Ministry of Natural Resources, said the University of Guyana, or the Ministry of Agriculture, should conduct experiments using the decayed sargasm to improve the soil for crops to grow. So Guyana is a land of many resources, as one would say. We have this abundance of resources out here in the seawall. And there is, we need people to do a lot more research on this though. They can be used as fertilizer. You dry it, you mill it, you find out the composition that is required to mix with other sun. And I mean, other soil, in fact. Um, sargassum contains nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. These are NPK compounds that is used for plant. Proactive ways to tackle the sargassum is to trap it before it gets to the shore. In Cancun, it is gathered and taken to onshore processing plants and transformed into fertilizer, fuel, or bioplastics. With several countries seeing greater amounts of the seaweed washing ashore, Fraser said considerations of how the country can benefit from the seaweed should be a major focus. Algae are basically uh, small plant-like structures that are food or host for many uh, marine life. But on the other hand, the decayed sargasm washed up on shores in many countries have a rotten egg-like smell that makes persons nauseous and get headaches. Sargasm has been present along the beaches of Guyana or along the coast of Guyana for years, but in this abundance, it's, uh, it's a lot, especially for this uh, season of the year. But as you can see here along the coast of Guyana, um, sargasm is quite, uh, it has a bad smell. It's unsightly, especially for tourism. We know in countries like Barbados, Belize and Florida, it causes a lot of tourism business to close down. In this case here in Guyana, we utilize our beach for many activities and it's not a pleasant sight, of course. As a result of climate change, it is expected that it will continue to wash up throughout April until August as it tries to photosynthesize. During this time, however, the seaweed covers the surface of the ocean, suffocating the microorganisms below. Additionally, fisherfolk have complained that the seaweed gets trapped in their nets, causing low catches. Reporting for the newsroom, I am Lazina Yearwood.